step and I'm going to do a wound dressing change using the sterile technique. My seven steps are check the doctor's order, wash my hands, identify the patient, explain the procedure to the patient, introduce myself to the patient, provide for privacy and gather my equipment. So I'm here to do a sterile um, dressing wound change. I have my supplies here and I have, this is going to be my uh, pretend waste basket where I'm going to dispose of my materials. And um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to put, put out my equipment. So I have my towel drape here and I'm going to open it and I'm going to look for the triangle. And I want to grab it only from the triangle, and one inch apart. And I'm going to let it open itself up. So the equipment that I have is, will come in this series of three, with my 12 syringe. And I'm going to... So once it's open, I'm not going to put it this way. I'm going to put it like this way, or this way. Okay, so I have that there. Next, I want to lay out my gauzes without um, just touching them. I just want to open the package and drop them. Okay. Then, I'm going to drop my combine. So nothing's touching anything and they can be on top of each other, everything's good so far. And then I want to drop my sterile bowl, which I'm going to put my saline in. There you go. Didn't touch anything. And my waste basket is, this is my pretend waste basket, so I'm going to be throwing everything in there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my normal saline in there. If it's not open, I'm going to open it and put the date that I opened it, because it's only good for 24 hours. If it's already opened, I'm going to reconstitute it. So I'm going to put my, that in there. Okay, great. So now I am ready to remove the equipment, um, the dirty uh, wound dressing chain over there. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my clean gloves on. Okay. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to assess that you know, it's not, like, I didn't just rip everything off. I'm just separating enough so I can be able to see the wound. And I'm not just going to rip this off. I'm going to slowly go from here and look, make sure there's nothing attached to it, and then throw that out. And then I have to uh, make take out the this, in the inserted, inserted ones. I'm not going to pull it out. Let's just dispose of it. Good. And then I'm going to assess the wound. This looks like to be 5 inches by 1 inch with an inch, 2 inches uh, depth. And I would document that. And uh, if it needs cleaning, I would just take my gauze water and I would just, I would not go inside just from the outside like that. Okay. So I'm done here. And now I want to pack it. So I want to remove my gloves the proper way. I want to prepare my sterile gloves. So before I prepare that, I just want to get my workspace to be a little easier. Okay, right here is good. So I have, these are my sterile gloves, I don't want to, there's a special way of um, opening them up. So I want to lay them out, like this, okay, and I do not want to go inside, I want to open them. I want to take my two fingers and be able to go in here and just open it up. Only one inch around is the, um, I want to 
be able to go in from the side like this, not reach over. Okay. So the first glove I want to put on my dominant hand. I'm gonna grab it from the side. <laughs> Touch anything. Okay. So the next glove, I want to go inside. Inside, and be able to just put my hand in. And just bring it over. Leave the cuffs alone and then fix up wherever I have to fix up. And I'm not going to touch anything, these stay above my waist level. So, the wound there and I want to be able to pack it and I want to I right now I can use both my hands and I'm going to wet it and then I don't want to turn my back to the thing drain it keep it damp and with this hand I'm going to slightly just push it in then I'm going to come here not with this hand and be able to take this dip it and pass it along without touching and be able to push, push it in okay next thing i want to do is grab my um ad pad make sure the blue line goes on top Grab it here, and I'm gonna put this on. So now it's sterile, and uh, the wound is covered. Everything is good. I'm going to then take my tape, tape here, tape there, but use the paper tape so it doesn't hurt the patient's skin. And uh, I'll cover him up, dispose of my materials, dispose of anything I've opened, and I will go back and document the wound change that I just did and I would wash my hands and those are my steps for wound care.